Wildfires occur across the globe. They burn down large, beautiful forests and take away people's lives. Some research reports say that the recent common occurrence of wildfires can be attributed to changing climate. They're concerned that vast amounts of CO2 and smoke produced by wildfires could cause a downward spiral into speeding up this climate change. Amid such a situation, the first ever domestically developed fire extinguishing agent in Japan has attracted much attention. The soap-based Class A fire extinguishing agent is being recognized as a specific and effective game changer to extinguish wildfires quickly. Can we develop the most eco-friendly fire extinguishing agent in the world? The Kirikishu City Fire Department faced a tough situation during the great Hanshin Awaji earthquake that hit the western area of Japan. They lacked water that they needed to fight fire. Then, in 2001, one request suddenly reached our company. The fire department made this request because a synthesized surfactant extinguishing agent used during trial sessions was highly toxic to plants. Additionally, the foam used for fire extinguishing did not disappear, leaving negative impacts on the environment. As a result, this led to further post-firefighting obstacles. Our company was founded in 1910. Chabon Dama Soap has provided additive-free human and eco-friendly products to protect health and clean water. In 2001, we began our development of a fire extinguishing agent with a higher environmental performance. We aim to create a product that meets the following conditions. One, having a fire extinguishing performance that requires only a small amount of water. Two, exhibiting the world's leading environmental performance. And three, achieving both firefighting capacity and defoaming performance. To create such a product, we made it a collaborative project that involved the industry, academia, and government. By partnering with the University of Kitakyushu and the Kitakyushu City Fire Department, we continue to repeat the process of research and verification. When the product finally came to its completion after seven years, we had more than 800 samples. After repeating verification experiments with modified samples, our final experiment succeeded in extinguishing a simulated fire that engulfed a 27 square meter fire resistant building with a total of 480 liters of water. The amount of water used was 1 17th of the average amount of water used in Tokyo Metropolis, Yokohama City, and Kirikyushu City. This result proved our product's groundbreaking performance. We conducted lethal concentration 50 tests by using water with different water hardness, sampled from 72 spots in and out of the country, and used aquatic organisms such as Japanese rice fish and Paramecium bursaria. Furthermore, we conducted germination experiments using rice plants. These experiments confirmed that our fire extinguishing agent was 10 times lower or more on the ecotoxicological evaluation than foreign products and other similar domestic products that would later be developed. Germination experiments also proved that our product would not influence the germination of plants. The biodegradability experiment also proved that the soap-based fire extinguishing agent would be decomposed 100% and would not remain in the natural environment. In addition to focusing on the fire extinguishing capacity and environmental performance, we also focused on the ability of the foam to disappear within an appropriate time to enable post-firefighting activities such as damage checks to start more swiftly and safely. This footage shows an experiment that was conducted on a plastic sheet to prove the difference in defoaming performance. Here, the fire extinguishing agent was released for 20 seconds and water was poured after 10 minutes. The bubbles of the soap-based fire extinguishing agent disappeared completely in 40 seconds. But in a synthetic agent, 
Bubbles did not disappear completely even though water was poured for more than 12 minutes. This means that soap-based fire extinguishing agents create 18 times more time-related cost savings than those of conventional agents. The conventional products could not fulfill all three needs for firefighting capacity, environmental performance, and defoaming performance. However, the new soap-based fire extinguishing agent achieved this triple performance with the use of our traditional technique of producing additive-free soap. Our old-fashioned soap makers have been manufacturing soap using an iron pot without adding any additives or synthesized surfactant. With such a classic manufacturing process, this new fire extinguishing agent came to its completion. Our soap-based fire extinguishing agents have been widely used by many firefighting organizations for their greater firefighting capacity, environmental performance, and defoaming performance. Currently, this product, with an excellent environmental performance, is expected to be used as a specific and effective method for fighting large-scale wildfires. It has been proven effective to perform aerial distribution from helicopters or fixed-wing aircraft when fighting wildfires. Distributing water with a mixture of 0.5% to 1% fire extinguishing agent can increase plant saturation and adhesion. This will bring about an effective fire extinguishing performance and help create fire lines by spraying it in sections that are not yet burnt. The footage shows how water pressure from a fire pump is used. One, the first method is the direct mix method that uses a mixture of 0.5% to 1% fire extinguishing agent. The agent is released after being directly mixed with the water source such as tank cars and water tanks. Two, the second method is the line proportioner method where the fire extinguishing agent is sucked in at the middle of the hose line. Three, the third method is the pickup nozzle method. A special nozzle is installed at the end of an extended hose line to release the agent. Four, an additional method is the simple foam maker method. Foam is produced by attaching a nylon net at the tip of the spray nozzle. For these methods, foam made of fire extinguishing agents is produced with ease instead of having to use special fire engines. This heightens the saturation of plants and the ground and enables firefighters to effectively extinguish fires. Another effective method is the use of a portable water backpack. This will especially help firefighters to fight fire with mobility at locations with limited water sources or with steep slopes that do not allow the hose to be extended. One, near a water source, fill the water bag with fire extinguishing water about 20 liters. That has been diluted 0.5% to 1% with the fire extinguishing agent. Two, in principle, a small number of people wearing a water backpack will line up at intervals at a location with no risk of flying sparks. From that point, they can manually release the fire extinguishing agent to create fire lines. Three, the fire extinguishing agent will heighten the saturation rate thereby requiring only a small amount of water. This method will decrease the amount of water that needs to be filled each time and the number of times the water needs to be sprayed. As a result, this will lighten firefighters' workload. Peat fires in Indonesia are posing serious problems with their vast amounts of CO2 and smoke. Verification test results from previous experiments are already being reviewed in an effort to create practical measures to combat this problem. Shabondama's soap-based fire extinguishing agents are also expected to be a game-changer for global warming in Europe. Based on the policy of the SDGs, Shabondama Soap is collaborating with Kirikyushu City and the University of Kirikyushu to promote soap-based fire extinguishing agents that exhibit the world's leading environmental performance to preserve our global environment. Please try out this product and see its performance and total cost reduction benefits. We're confident that this will help you establish environmentally conscious strategies to fight wildfires.